na eh ebusafo amaka ho minia yes ni eso so ababet na hanu musi ya ye babedi enkomo e wahanu say a lot of issues and i started ebubo ba events that were unfolding in previous days ni na no eh ye best at ye de hun komo ye hwe eh kejetia markets and um, other events so akoso e wo ho no nti ni ma ma mo achi mo akwa ba bibia boko de bibia boko de eh happy new year so so me happy return as well yeah uh, I'm a baby, I'm a Happy New Year. Same thing. More than bringing any in the jamming. We were having to say, it's it. Name my Mister Tufu. We were having Right. Yes, sir. Other issues are a bubble ever. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. And see, um, Happy New Year to all our viewers out there. The chair gonna gonna use in uh, moment of our can. Um, JB. Yeah. Let's let's jump straight into the issues. And see. On the 27th of December, 2023, yeah, um, it was a Wednesday okay. at about 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Parliament passed five new tax bills. 27th December, 2023. 2023. Time, uh, Amafua, you're very busy and focused on Singaton, yeah, Kukathon. No? Mm. Yes, government or parliament was in parliament, so we passed five new tax bills. Two of them are very significant in there. Back home here, VAT has been re reviewed upwards. Um, Omoa introduced a new tax called emissions tax. And that would affect every user of petrol and diesel engines. Yeah. It is a whole tree moto, who you see a bobo yanis and yamano. Because of that emissions tax, I must say because who who releases smoke out of your engines, you, know, <laughs> you have to pay an emissions tax. Now, JB. These two taxes you know, are going to affect every single thing I hear Ghana. Because once VAT Beko mm. Shono, it affects everything. Your utility bills, it yeah. your BD, everything is touched by VAT. Yeah, sure. Another thing that will be touched by VAT is your petroleum products, diesel, mm. petrol, Nissan, Yaman. Yes. But apart from VAT, Akoshono, they've introduced the emissions tax which will affect petrol and diesel and all those fuels. I said, what that? Pollution tax. No, so this is emissions tax which has been introduced. Five new taxes. But say, yeah, yeah, bro, no matter something. So, mm -hmm. but you're going to pay more. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, a, sure. No matter what the tag has been put on it, you no, know, mm. you're going to pay substantially more than we used to pay. I see. And I'm saying many Ghanaians till date mm -hmm. do not even know say BBC or so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because during yeah. that time now, man, for a chill, or more job, we need to man. It's people up to now in the new year, and then uh, 9th January. Yeah, sure. People still don't even know say you're passing five new taxes. Mm -hmm. At that same parliament sitting, no, I'm going to approve it 290 billion Ghana cities. So that's government expenditure, that's appropriation bill, was also passed. I see. And they've given them not not five or ten billion, we're talking about over 200 billion Ghana cities have been given approval for government to spend. Now, Jeremy, mind you, sir, your current national debt stock mm -hmm. is unbearable. Hmm. Yes, Sunday over two hundred billion bab account for them to spend, and how many Ghanaians know about these things? And see, who can say? Who can say? Now you chill during the December. Yeah. Jebi, I couldn't chill. I could not have fun because all of these issues were pressing and depending. How mm. do I even go out there, Miko Jimmy? I couldn't get these things out of my head, and I'm saying. I watch the energy of Ghanaians did chill the December. No, I wish we could focus on political matters the same way. Mm. Ghana will be free. Mm. Ghana will be free. Yeah. But see, let's 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 come to other issues. And see, all of these things are pending. Mm -hmm. On the seventh of January, just yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. Yes, say yeah, yeah. Program B was Independence Square, the convention, mm -hmm. right? And then there were so there were supposed to be four main speakers who were attending. Julius Julius Malema, who is from the EFF in South Africa. Yeah. That's similar to the organization that we we have in Ghana, the EFL. And um, there was um, Professor Pierre Lumumba, mm -hmm. who is from Kenya. We had um, Dr. Arikana Chiambori, who is from Zimbabwe. Yeah. And then we had Peter Obi coming from Nigeria. Nigeria. And see, so also the makeup of the panelists that was formed for this program, mm -hmm. it's a purely Pan-Africanist panel, yeah. right? And see, you had representation. There was none from North Africa, but from West Africa, Central, East, and South. Yeah, sure. There was a good representation of the continent. And as I share, among who who were invited to this program, there were people who were, you can, I mean, who, who are people you can refer to as political giants in Africa. They have a very good international following. Mm. JB, how do you give them the permit 
all the way back in November last year. Mm -hmm. And then one hour to the program beginning, no. Most of them cancel program, no. And I, I crave your indulgence, Mamin Kai. This letter we got from the office of the president. From the office of the president. president. Um, it was a statement that was offered as um, an excuse for what has happened. Okay. In it's a signed uh, document. Oh, yes. So, yes. Uh, from a uh, media ma um, director. So, say, so you will have it on yes. the screen yes. very soon. In T, um, this is from the office of president, and yes. it was sent on the seventh of January, twenty twenty-four. And I'm going to sign it. It was signed by H M Wood, the chief director for okay. the chief of staff. Okay. Yes, H M Wood. Yes. Okay. And um, I'm going to copy the, the deputy director for the diaspora affairs. That's okay. Dr. Nadia Adungu All right. And so the letter says, the heading of the letter is a revocation of permit. And I'd like us to pay attention to what this letter says. I'm going to say, we write to revoke immediately the permission granted per our letter number OPPH02. That was dated 11th November 2023, mm -hmm. which approved your request to use the Black Star Square for the above event. I'll say, this decision has been necessitated by an unforeseen state event scheduled to take place at the event, at the venue, I beg your pardon. All right. I'd like to highlight that, that paragraph is again. It's more and live on TV. So this is a letter signed by the... Uh, chief, chief director. The chief director. For the chief of uh, staff. For yeah. the chief of staff yeah. as the office of the president. Yes. Okay. And he, so I'll show the second paragraph. Now say, this decision has been necessitated by an unforeseen state event mm. scheduled to take place at the venue. I'll come back to this paragraph. Under the circumstances, the amount of 10,000 Ghana CDs paid by your office for the use of the venue will be refunded. We regret any inconvenience this may cause. Oh, okay. Back to the second paragraph. Or say, this decision, that's the decision to cancel the event, yeah. has been necessitated by an unforeseen state event scheduled to take place at the venue. You see, how can a program or an event which is unforeseen hmm. be scheduled <laughs> my goodness you, you you can't believe these things if you don't see them hmm. so you nobody can make this up i must say they canceled the program for, because of an unforeseen state event which has been scheduled Mm. Unforeseen, they say you had no idea about it. It was into a movie program, Nimuna, or what they are buying the end of one was a share there to hold. But I must say, they are buying a share, no, a year unforeseen. Oh, okay. You get what I'm saying? Yes. It's almost say they are canceling the event for an unforeseen state event which ah. has been scheduled. Oh, okay. It doesn't make sense. You see, you, you, an unforeseen event. Hey, a dear own to me who say ABC. ABC. Not yeah. ABC. Yes. That's unforeseen. Ah. Right? No, I'm going to say ABC and ABC. But one man, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to cancel for an unforeseen event. Yes, I am. But I'm going to say a state event. Yes. How can a state event which has been scheduled be unforeseen? It's a mini, but mini, no, any power to a letter because this is from the office of the president. Too. Hey, bro, I'm not surprised, JB, that we go into certain contracts. Which we later realize have been very criminal, if nothing else. Because you're unto me in kind, simple brothel, and you cannot use your English words correctly, you know, and you write out a letter like this, an unforeseen state event which has been scheduled. How how does this make sense? Mm. But you see, this was a national day of shame for Ghana because Oh, really? Oh yes, a very big national day of, of shame. I see. Yes. How? I like that. I've mentioned sir, these were four political giants in Africa who cover West central yeah. east and south africa yeah, right sure. so this was a pan-africanist movement mm -hmm. right now our president has been touting a lot of pan-african rhetoric when he goes outside yeah. with the eyes and micabre for now also but uh, I am yes. Uh, yes and see your president has been has been sold to us uh, mm -hmm. or your uh, pan-africanist and then he supports so uti in the casa war outside ghana mm. like when he met the french president but yeah. his rhetoric is pan-africanist sure. right and he said you know opportunity be say the four political giants who represent Three quarters of the continent mm -hmm. coming into Ghana, and mind you, Ghana has always been known previously as the gateway to Africa. Yeah, and see, for such an event to be organized here, what was the event? The convention, yes. So, uh, it was for a particular agenda. No, but hold on, hold on, whatever agenda it was, I am saying you have four political giants, yes. right, meeting together to have a conversation, whatever yeah. that agenda was. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this is a representation of. Three quarters of the continent. No, no, me tell you. Yes. But it's here, it's here. Yes. 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 Yes.
you do in Como, I'm a Ghana for him. Right. But the share behind the scene, that's a yet to one more, it's a different agenda. So we might be sitting here today, now you can't say, as some year can it be, for the interest of yeah, 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 for yeah, yeah, But see, you're quite one thing, and I see a free camera, and then you're quite a full process, it's a different thing. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's done. But I'm saying, sir, these people have a following. If you follow their rhetoric, yeah, you know, you see they push a certain agenda, which sure. is pan African, I mean, right? Yeah, so I'm saying, sir, if these four people are coming onto one platform to have a conversation around Africa, it would have been in Ghana's interest, sir, it would have even been part of it. I was hoping, sir, the program would have happened, and then our presidential aspirants, either the, the current president mm -hmm. or his vice president, who is looking to become the next president, yeah. would have taken advantage of such a platform. And address the people and this would have not just been for ghana but would have been for the majority of africa i see so i was looking at how this would have actually put ghana back on the map so see i know ghana's title of being the gateway to africa has been taken by rwanda rwanda is now claiming to be the gateway to africa and nobody can take it from them because they are proving sir they are the gateway to africa but say program number in their agenda is different from say you remember lecture or you remember casting to as as pan africanist yeah because you want to be one as a baby no but we didn't we didn't know so i'm saying the people who were coming are known for that rhetoric so share on the yes. speeches on one map yes. everywhere Th yes. that is the agenda they've been pushing yeah dr um arikana chiombori has been talking about africa yes, and her problems yes um, um lumumba has been doing yes. same um malema has been known for same so i'm saying yeah, sure. irrespective of what the agenda might have been mm -hmm. these are people who are known for pushing the pan-africanist agenda but so, who, who would have acted uh, yeah, yeah, share my event now because we are sending it to one or more. No, but and I hear share no, and I say so. If a buying is going to cancel anything, you, know, you had since a buying now, and my almost are approval. I said, Don't call show. And before you approve of something, you should screen it and see, say, what are you going to do with the venue? Mm -hmm. What is the program going to be like? Oh, but here we'll scrutiny before you issue the permit. Yes, and see, if they didn't do that. That is even an indictment on the government as well. Because you don't just grant permits to people to come and do anything at all. No. You should scrutinize and see what they are going to do. The agenda of the program, if it's going to be beneficial to the people. And then you either decide to give the permit or revoke it. But they gave the permit last year in November. Mm. And then one hour before the program will start, we'll say we'll revoke it on permits. No? Because of unforeseen <laughs> state yeah, state, state event, event. Ah, yeah. watch <laughs> my goodness but you see <laughs> so no it's a national day of shame because the, the way and means the whole thing was was uh, done shows that uh, ghana really is not a democratic nation we don't we only speak about democracy but we don't practice democracy mm. it's an indictment on the international community because you don't treat international people who are coming to your country mm. in, in that manner and you see if you see the presence of the police and the army and then they are posture towards the people mm. right so it was not it, it was it was more than just oh we are canceling your event because of another scheduled event and this even goes to another indictment on the on the government say so, mama will be permit from last year say oh you see the venue for this program how is it that you didn't know say, another state event was going to clash with that same event all right uh remember our home movie but uh ivan yeah uh you know Event are uh, on for the um, our Ghana had to say near touch on five new taxes were introduced as at December 27. Yeah. And uh, we have Baba latest one also so yeah, uh, Domija Ashe, but a typical case study a kid is Ashe for 10 months. Akabe Afriba Akabe Busumi, you know, Nedi one year, maybe a share, you know, Adana Busum. Two corner in Saka Craig who won't know your pie now called baby. Ubian can't wash you, Bian your country. It's still marking time. Nay, yes, I gonna seek us. Yes, Daddy came a mention and I mentioned what you for now. Men wish you will be a happy new year. Yeah, and the young couple wants to say, Yes, I'm a baby. She have been hoping say this new year will come with a lot of positive vibes and the kind of change in a year in a year. She had a moon or a babana, Sabi, Ghanaian dream now. Every young person be all Ghana be a hope is a Ghana be ye you know we will not give up on those dreams mm. and never be yeah. and this advocacy will continue keep telling people say uh, we all have a stake in this country called Ghana and whichever way and any Pabia we be a whether you are sick or well rich or poor well or not well no will be our stake your stake in Ghana is equal and Wherever we are, who is a political discourse, we of course we should be very much interested mm -hmm. because it is the future of the youth, you know, that is on the line. 
so had the rate of unemployment in Okromha and Kwanya, you to know this veil of hopelessness. And then, now, now, man, for the, those are more world, the political power, and nobody seem interested. The attitude is that of indifference. But be able to say, Ghana, me, I quite watch him. Where you expect the states, and then move in it machinery, the might of the states, you ever go to the aid of the people. No, you don't even see. I mean, I walk on KJT as a my AK. I a Ghana for a Japan and a Koshi or Ho. I a Ghana for an Asabi or more a Kosa who you hear them. You expect a government to go to their aid in that particular regard. Say, by Asabi, say, there, I've sat in a Nipano home, no, you're with me a belly or more out. But politics in a year and a culture or say. It's not that basi aye politics sebe ye ni pa hombe hen hen no aye power and the supremacy and abam for chesi it is about money your politics no it is about money power and fame unfortunately kjt ya as at the time e she ye no na enye insured good insurance new somewhere around november 2021 yes so now so you begin to ask yourself say this is a marketer a share management sir yes so why will anybody sit there say insurance e wohu emu but we ye see Obian wa ye me panese no ho that deterrence na make say ye bibi e ba ye there has been massive consequences e ye far we ya sabi obi akom a obi ti ba bi o no so be su anya nsa no those things are not there so me i am not surprised and some of these things you know will keep happening until say we the citizens in the we keep up who say yes politics in here but until say the embassy form a demand accountability from our people no they will continue to take the people for granted cuz politics you know my culture said the easiest thing to do for a politician to realize that the people they are ruling our fools when they realize that the people they are ruling are not wise, you can just take advantage of them and do whatever that you want to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that is exactly what some Ghanaian politicians, you know, I have realized that these are gullible people, are uh, very emotional people. It's just a matter of just playing on their emotional keyboard. You can just take advantage of them. I know the day we have had instances in the past that people will not do anything. A do say a quack or two are banned as a side grab one as a phone you could go kind of you will be woke, Master. A who be war, they see where I will your friend is a central region. Exactly, so but if you are dealing with a reasonable mindset, one casa you feel ashamed that I do where I may call the people report people who vote against me based on the fact that people will interpret the whole thing to me. Says I be only me and something about yes, sir. But we keep accepting these things, and politicians keep pushing this thing through our our your friends. I uh. Your truth, and we accept them. So we, the people, must rise to the occasion and say, "Yes, politics is not here. And the Yama Yang Kasa Yahon Ghana just in the best of sun. The Yang Kasa because our whole sub region has said they seek here. Abraham Kroma started here. Ghana be the first country in the sub region to secure independence. Yeah, boy, Ghana has always been the shining star. But today, look at our state. Look at and your debt. Are you insurmountable? Ah, and you need. Or any other option than to rely on IMF, says that they should come to our aid. That is the only option. <laughs> last year, I had a discussion about IMF. We second tranche, I expecting last year, November. Yeah, we didn't um, get the money I'm because we couldn't patch a deal with our your friends, external creditors. We as we and then I'm saying, hey, if right, and then yeah, nice, nice, nice. nice. Yeah. discussion yeah. You know, with your friends, official credit. We in a fair way, cause some people to be a bit to be a some understanding. Be a my answer na IMF agent so they seek a my so. We be saying, "Oh my, in the future, we have a oh my, no son that come a kai we are soon and answer for." These are the realities that uh, end up in the kind of economic distress I Ghana for them. Ah, you was pretty say, yeah, you never wake it up from your slumber. This emotional politics and the active partisan activism now, yeah, yeah, no say, yeah, your politics, your party, your party, but Ghana and the supreme. At the end of the day, you know, we need to demand among for say they should do the right thing. Mm. But I will have the structure and the kind of so your structure, your politics now. And yeah, I dare give you rights to good leaders because the system is skewed towards corruption. And to bar the obey be about corrupt. Hmm. So near manner institutions and as far as you see what people say institutions by yeah, you man. Those institutions, you know, I see a book because elsewhere, answer na even democracy now you can't the institution you end up pinning and as for you know. Institutions have played quite a crucial role, yeah. but then they look at our state institutions. Ah, you know, and they have foundation and democracy in the and all these institutions, you know, Abubu, because men know who know they are not men with any moral conviction. I'm on for new principles, I'm on for new values, and then as a foreigner, or be a woman just say a woman to serve himself, and then as a foreigner, or be a year the upper. And we have seen a lot of gangsters with badge, ah, more than none in the executive badge, Sabi, or more in the name of politics, you know, they are just stealing from the state. These are just typical gangsters with executive badger 
because they are insulated by power and they can do whatever that they want to do and get away with it this is one thing you we the you to know must realize politics and i and and now sorry now because of who are okay you are going to our heaven politics are going to your hair and you must at any point in time make sure that politics is a good interest because and can buy the sign up or my eye womb so i had the youth population maybe i am the adults womb and my culture said oh my dear economy bad driver i dare you force a driver and the labor Labor and also coming from the youth. Yeah, I have to be a But in Africa, this le this youthful way no a go waste. You can't get it to do anything. Elsewhere in America and other places, they have realized that uh, when it comes to this human resource, uh, they don't even have it in abundance. So they have resorted to say Omo ba Africa, as is a man for the Omo call Elkwa call Bwase by Omo Labor no Ombet Mienya we. But you have to be youth to know yeah. We see these people as useless because the government is not ready to provide anything for any of the youth. But they say recently now buying a or oh, they rent rooms in their houses. Are my young people? We, young people in Ghana are not beggars. Nobody is asking government to oh, unhind their mind. When we have a law, rent law, no, a new crime has been. I'm on for what's a crap? What about you? We need to what what? What the hell unhind that? You need to pay two, two three years. years and above. Yes, uh, maybe two years. Exactly. Yeah. When we are Mara Okroma Sabi, you can't take more than six months. So make sure say, some of these laws work. I know the day young people will not rely on somebody say almost come and find come to your dying. But yeah, we are new. So these are some of the things I yeah, yeah, Sabi a man for the politics now, yeah, you know. Yeah, yes, I'm on for messing like our MP three in the morning. Yeah, Majisika. But our people, that is what they cherish because a bad that is how they are supreme but I'm more feeling better and feel I'm more feeling big. And do back call MP three and panel any pass and lie. MP, your friends say, "Me busi oniye u, me misikam koto fundaka, me misikam me dikoti ya me ba, me kwaya adore ene na sefo." Ente wey MP na o konsi tuense, wudi mwa gra. Saturday ba, kubeto fundaka be thirty. Hmm, yeah. Ene adore ene na sefo a oko. Oh, so MP for wedding. MP B, oko e ya na untu ya sika be brave ni ti. Yeba tu ti ya. Aye tu ti ya. Exactly. So amu call duty na amu kwa kwa make sure that emrani ni sese ebe ya juma. I'm a minor foundation. I see, somebody, young people will not become beggars, but rather will become self-sufficient and economically independent. Or for you, you must in some can be be a dinner. Those things, you know, young from what came, you continue to become a beggar in your own land. Oh, quite a nipple. No, I'm a wa. Ten Ghana city, hundred Ghana city, fifty Ghana cities. Some of them we ain't even changing the power, bro. And I'm saying, say, answer a Ghana bit me as a son. We need to make sure that we have build the platform for you to meet me and leverage it to maximize or be our individual potential or be our Sabi a bit me do baby a or minus bit me benefit your film by me do baby a Sabi the natural resources now you want to call Nippon who you answer who said that is the need for us to young Kasano you take a charge now you make sure say you high services for people to do Sabi a bit you a mocha and you can find it your natural resources now you have to make your for moon to number my baby your land ah yeah yeah and then so first of all, your business all oh, baby, yeah. all that you need is a stable political environment. Mm -hmm. And tell me in Africa, which country ever bit me boast you of a stable political environment than Ghana? Continuous, continuous. Yeah, thirty years. Look at even the kind of the, in the midst of this economic turmoil, yeah, you will be. Ah, my cool, eh, this is this year, yeah. A minor cool, this is no economically, no. Ghana is far, yeah, chum baby, I'm one, but ah, uh, yeah. this thing is stable. Yeah. And see, say company from America now, but Ghana, they don't need any incentive here because the political stability. Only is it not? I assured. But we are giving them tax holiday For free. Waivers, a lot of waivers. Oh, but yeah, man, five years. No, so now yeah, yeah, good company. No, I see an affair me for fraud because for another tax holiday. Now, our young people, to me, yes, you cannot so cast or cost that business. I want a man as a tax relief. No, absolutely nothing. And these people come to this country like some of them big corporations. When they come, they set up. There is no law that says yes, yeah, be we are do man or or profit, you know. Retain maybe twenty percent for Ghana for a certain amount of time because as long as those money stays, the economy yeah. will be yeah, better. Sure, sure. When they finish, MTN, Vodafone, Omo Nyaso, Musika, South Africa, Kuwa, Oko, Sikana, Oko, change into dollars, leaving your economy dry. Then you have this. Uh, your friends, your finance minister, will come and tell people, say, oh, uh, the economy will hit one trillion. That is a joke. That is a joke because ask yourself, say. What is your share? Young people have become desperate and uh, go to Europe. And Ghana for one and I'm a bonsi and say, Munya, you man, yeah. I'm for more tea in so so echo Europe and then I say for them. The very few room bits in your corner, so I said, You could do it. Now, so when you're Japan, I know the back room, ha, comport, call her, yeah. Yeah. Near Sasa, near Media Guso, 
One son can I yaji, yaji, jiji, jaman for cars and for car, okay, yaji, but Tom one can yaya, yaji, and Nipanaji, and all the money, girlfriend, what Tom man for four, 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 who are now a coma. That is the kind of government I must have, or my Yuma, seeking, say, you're putting me on this nasty political, your friend is saying, and narrative by Yeti Hui. But how did we get here? We got here because politics is not here, you know. Yeah, you have to see the answer the bad politics. We decided we have invested too much emotions into this politics. We have invested too much of Madame Funi, Miriam, or a Tintin, or a say. So when you have such nasty things around politics, ah, so you cannot go wrong, but you don't see because the kind of link between you and that person is uh, emotional, yeah. and you know what emotions does to people. Mm -hmm. And I just say I invested wisdom. Now you just emotions, keke. Now you look at value. The nipano kai and no oye. Or mind baby eko e eko ye. It is all about self interest and nasa for one. I don't know. No, we you ya kwa kwa time in them because politics na ye ye de ye. Ya friends eh ye fru kroba akonso omu ye to me na ye fru say those tribal and ethnocentric kind of way no. And ye ye motivation for this politics ya ye ye. So nipano dia kwa time in them kwa we don't care. That is why in the midst of all this messy situation we have me. You still have people have the infantry go on radio and defend this whole nasty tenor, Sebi Air Corso. So, we the people, my country say, change now, you see, can all come from nowhere. I best start it from Yanka say, until say, Yanka say, but now say, I click it on the reset button. And they are making sure, say, yeah, yeah, going forward, you know, you don't put politics from a different lens. Now, I may have that partisan lens, and then I say, for no one. The situation will continue to be like this. And on this particular way, now, you know, I don't care whatever the way they were going to do there. But the fact is, our guarantee or more, your friend is saying, yeah, and they and now we can say, Ebia, na your mock acquaintance society, no, per the letter now, you can't, you know, send can not for a dinner or more quite a can to be captured in that particular letter, yeah. So, so when you say the panel, no, how can you know, oh my just cancel, but you torpedo it at that particular way, no, it's an embarrassment, you see. That is what I'm telling you, your president is gaining notoriety for a lot of things because. For this, I think he's just behaving like a gangster with so a So this is what happened on the day. And I uh, was screen as well. Yes. So, no, no, yes. No, I don't think this is from the night. This is a previous event that yeah. happened. Yes. Oh, okay. The yes. previous event that happened. Okay. And okay. I was going to touch on this. Uh, this. This venue had been given to certain people to do programs right there. Near their man for some of them. No, no, I'm saying in December. Yes. In, in yes, December, December yes. December, yes. 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 And you see... But it was, it, 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 then your political activity. That's what I was coming to. That's, yes. When it's things that are going to be entertainment based, yeah. they allow that. Yeah, sure. But if it's anything that's going to be political, yes. it is not controlled by the government or the, the political op open, uh, mm. positions in Ghana. Yes. They don't allow that. Yeah, but that is, see, that is the independent square. No, no, you're not getting my point. Independence Square is not supposed to be for entertainment. It is a serious place for political issues. It's a political security ground. Yes. And see, if you're going to allow anyone to use that for entertainment, mm -hmm. why can't you let anyone use that for poli national political issues? Who's not partisan? Yeah. You're, you're getting my point. Yeah. And see, I'm saying, in this country, we found ourselves in a position, sir, anything that's going to be, anything that's going to serve as an, an educational material or content for the people to uplift them politically, the consciousness of the people to lift the political in my 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 one okay. right. uh, yes it made me can say the omo kwa kwa yeah i don't care yeah but the fact they say the panel a better permit you know what can't you man or no yeah sure. when you do some of these things i sell it the nation in a bad light that is what i'm saying this is great. because to torpedo it at that last hour you know I'm the sure. kind of impression i will create you know because even in the letter you are not able to clarify as to why you are torpedoing that exactly. particular thing Mm -hmm. And a carry negative way, so I must say, defeating this whole thing of Ghana being, if I said, democratic, it, whatever, yeah. whatever. No? Yeah. That is why I keep telling people that so these guys are just imposters fronting democratic rule. Exactly. They pretend, say, this is a democracy, but in reality, this is not a democracy. If the president can just sit there and just torpedo things like that, then you become a gangster with a presidential badge. Mm -hmm. You are not a democrat, you are just I a see. gangster with a presidential badge. And I know that they're in the kind of your friends say imagining as far as seller by Ghana. No? It's not positive because this is not the first time we have had such instances on several occasions. This is Things not the time. Happened. Happened. This yeah. this yeah. gangster kind of way across so living within the media, you didn't be at all to whom we are nominal as yeah. May you take it some few minutes now, Yenti and yeah. conform call program to be in the name send and come call that particular event nibino. Yet you know me by a better as our discussion with you. Tell her what happened in that. Ghana leaders, they are disgraced to the country. They are disgraced to us. How can you 
can, how can you stop us from having such a program like this? Yeah. How can you know that? Yeah, it's about igniting us about leadership Africa. Leadership making Africa strong. Empowerment. Okay. You are empowering leadership in Africa. Okay. You understand? So when if you look at this program, this December, last year December, yes. the video, Shatawali, Sakodia, all of them, those bullets, they allow them. Okay. The one way go empower Africa. They said they don't go do. Alright. So we get empowered. They last year. American Vice President, where she Can come here? You gave it, you gave it. This woman, that's where she be American? Uh -huh. You gave her the platform. That's what you do. I'm in Africa. I want you not to let me. To bring the whole world to let me. Killing the Vice President, you are a Vice President. I want you not to let me. Because I want to stop being a little bit. Something that I want to stop. Okay. 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 I and enti yefas dama kama slide tv ono na emayesa footage is way na uh, state events uh so na koba be ye state event unforeseen state event according to the letter no <laughs> the unforeseen state event na maso and na en ko for so so 10000 cedis so mu ko dress so mu ko ye event no so so a e no so so omutwa mu sika mi nim se bi omo nya refa ne de omo so mu de beba enti the unforeseen state event na maso Ena, eko follow so so the the new convention the so so the amaso. Iti maybe aye dun. Two season laws. So so you see, presenting Ghana some kind of a lawless state. Like I'm saying, say whoever was behind it, whatever they were going to do, do their me me have to hear. I don't care. I don't even give a damn about it. But the fact is, say what granted permission for Nipano, you you knew or you understood whatever they were going to do, and. For them, say yeah, they amount for a bar, amount for so kuhaku akuti, because he was there to listen to the kind of people and no more bar no. Maybe they didn't go there because of the organizers, but they went there because of the personalities mm. who were coming. Yeah. So people came from afar to go and listen to them. Yes. So at that particular point, you don't torpedo such a, such a thing without a provider. Yes, on the grounds of national security, you can say say we are picking intelligence. No, it's say we are more more yeah. I don't know. It's understandable. Let any more kind of reasonable. But for this. And an event, an event, you know, so I'm not sure the day, you know. Then I clouded this whole narrative around the say, not government, or any justifiable reason. So, more reason, yeah, they could have communicated properly. But with this, you know, the I reason is an unforeseen state event, which has been scheduled. Yeah, which has been scheduled. <laughs> it's not a good reason enough. Me say, this is, this, is a, this is a nonsense that has been crafted in a letter. Oh, this is an, oh, an unforeseen state event. It's a manufactured nonsense that these people have just put together to justify the situation. Oh, well, well, non unforeseen. Where and whatever events no cause what then that unforeseen you know will be unraveled and Ghanaians will know what actually happened. Then we know you understand, but nothing actually happened. Then I know the day you know I come to confirm say anything be a political, anything be meant to enlighten the people, no, you're not. And then it comes to affirm my position, my culture say average politician, no, and person gun and be who because in this gullible state, you know, the politicians feel comfortable. Because that is how they can they can use the people. Because my kind of politics, the concept of politics in Africa, no, and you say the mamini also like some men. Yeah. That slavery way, no. Yeah. And the last time I was telling you, so called chieftains in the for you know the same slavery now. That is why at this point in time, we who are here now, person up can be green, green, green. That kind of. We do so much so change or slavery mentality then one away so wherever we find ourselves is the same thing that concept you know it play out because any part of it enlighten like if you go to europe us and another places are when the big general you want to go to the politician you know the day you know if you from that particular human or you know but there is absolutely nothing for you to do you are jobless you are hopeless you have absolutely nothing to do and whenever the call comes there you go to the political party you know maybe 100 gun 100 gun everybody will go the party radio so yeah even Journalism, Ghana, Manchester, Birmingham, Sika. They will skew the news 
to what for whatever that is why today you hear a lot of misinformation and disinformation campaign within the media i are waiting on the minds of the people trying to tell them say what is happening is good because all on at the end of the day you know i'll for this kind of shadow and he doesn't care about the future of this country all right and he yeah. wake up all right uh me yeah right um i like i like that you mentioned sir um these so-called politicians or leaders do all the things they do and then they go away they get away with it nobody's able to do anything to them it's very interesting uh, also say how do we get to this point which was a very yes. good question too i i saw when we we're doing the newspaper review you know um your other colleague no okay newspaper be back or say and uh, obviously the 1992 constitution is very good and it should be kept the way it is because yeah. we had mm. I, I don't know who's, who said that but it was a statement that was yes. after in there yes. yes but the number one problem in ghana today mm. is a constitution how the 7th of january the day this thing was supposed to happen was supposed to be the constitution day constitutional mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. a day that we used to celebrate the constitution mm -hmm. but what is there to celebrate about the ghanaian constitution we are the, celebrating 32 years of existence 32 years of uh, good coexistence, peace, and whatever. We are celebrating everything that has to do that, with that. That holiday is called Constitutional Day. Yes. So it is celebrating the Constitution of yes. Ghana. Uh, and the Constitution in play right now is the 1992 Constitution. Yes. Now, the author or the person who introduced that Constitution to us, mm -hmm. the late His Excellency Jerry John Rawlings, yeah. himself mm -hmm. had said that this Constitution has outlived its purpose and that it needed to be changed. His Excellency Mills yeah. set up a committee to review the cons same constitution. Sure. Now, the document, the report that came out of the, the, the committee's work was over 800 pages. Now, His Excellency Mills OE 15 items per, and issued a government white paper on those 15 items out of over 800 pages. All of this goes to say, sir, the Nipa or this our constitution in mind, you know, or no one can say constitution way and yet it is not good, it's not fit for purpose. Into the answer, Nipa or bar after in that same line, His Excellency Mill set up a committee to review the constitution, admitting, sir, the constitution itself was faulty. Mm. If we have all of these things done, what are we celebrating on the 7th of January as constitutional day? If that same document has been proven beyond all reasonable doubt, said it's not fit for service, what are we celebrating? And so I was hoping, sir, that day would have been a day where we would have had national discussions on these issues. Sir, is this constitution fit for purpose today? What are we going to do going forward as people? Is this constitution able to guarantee the future that we need as Ghanaians? These things are not discussed. But see, let's get into the, the constitution. Obi Bissami, um, yesterday, me, I interviewed me, um, Shaft FM in, 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 um, in Obuasi. Shout out to Shaft FM. Obi Bissami, sir, and she said, you have the whole constitution. If there's anything that we can change in the constitution, what would I want us to change? Mm -hmm. We say there's only one part of the constitution. If we change, you know, it will change everything and all our problems in Ghana. I see. Which is? Good. The indemnity clauses which are found in the transitional provisions of the constitution. Oh. The indemnity clauses in the transitional provisions of the constitution. Now, check this out. Team and our commissioner, um, His Excellency Mills, also said, say, up to review the constitution. Now, I'm the chairman, your friend of Professor Albert Fiajo. Mm -hmm. Time out, or submitting reports, you no. Know. Yeah, besides, uh, um, a journalist asked Professor Fiajo, say, ah, Professor, why didn't you touch the indemnity clauses in the transition provisions? This is what Professor Fiajo said. I say, the moment you remove the indemnity clauses from the constitution, every government that has been in power in Ghana mm. since the 24th of February 1966 mm -hmm. to date would all be illegal. His words. I say. If you remove the empty clause, say he is how one part in the every constitution the more. Yeah. Every government that has been we'll in be Ghana since 24th February 1966 mm. till date, every single one of those governments would have become illegal. That's what he said. Illegal. Ill or illegal. Illegal. I see. Yes. So you ask yourself, sir, what have we been doing all this while? Now let's go into the empty clauses. In the empty clauses, say. Anybody who has done a kudita in Ghana since the first kudita we had mm -hmm. at uh, the year Kwame Nkrumah yeah. till date till the thirty-first of December, nineteen eighty-one, that was the last coup we had. They say anybody who was involved in any of those exercises, there's no court in Ghana able to make this assessment. No. And see, what it has done is it has put certain people above the law. Mm. So there's no court in not even the Supreme Court can touch any of those people. It gets worse. Mm. So of course, section thirty-five of the same indemnity clauses, no, or say, not even Parliament has the right to amend that part. Now, parliament is supposed to be the house of laws. Yes, but that same document is telling us, sir, even parliament does not have the right 
to amend that part of the constitution. Now, if we claim to be a democracy, and one of the pillars of democracy is the rule of law, and everyone is equal before the law. That's one of the foundational pillars of democracy. And mm -hmm. you say, you say you're a democracy. How is it that, sir, we've created a document which says certain group of people are above the law, and they cannot be touched by any courts in Ghana? And that even those who make the law simple cannot change that law into anything else. And I'll say this again. Anyone who understands what the political situation of Ghana is and is going to be honest to themselves understands exactly what we've been saying about the constitution. Anything that our campaign has always been that we need a new constitution now. Mm -hmm. And you see, the so constitution can say, to me amended this part, parliament to me amended this part. What is the constitution telling you to do? Mm -hmm. It's telling you you cannot amend me. Yeah. You cannot change me. Sure. Not even parliament can change me. No court in Ghana can address these issues. What is the constitution telling you? And see, I've been saying, sir, we, we always speak against coup d'etat and the use of violent force to overthrow government. We've said that we don't want it, and nobody, none, none of us supports such action. But the Constitution is telling you explicitly in the Constitution itself, sir, all democratic means available to us to change the Constitution are null and void and cannot be used. Hmm. What other option is it giving you? And so we've said, anybody who is a well-meaning Ghanaian hmm. who wants to continue to protect the democracy we have, have to have this conversation about that constitutional provisions in there, the transitional provisions, the empty clauses. And let us decide as Ghanaians if this is actually going to protect and promote our democracy or is this actually the Achilles heel in our so-called democracy. And to touch on your point to wrap up, sir, no, no politician has been able to be prosecuted or anything. Because he had so far, all this general report from December 1993 yeah. to date, yeah. every year consistently, you know, mm -hmm. your all this general report, which is sent to parliament. Yeah, sure. We've seen people who have caused financial loss to this state. Mm -hmm. People who are stolen. It was a high court judge who told us that they created loot and share. And I'm a bar. Yeah, sure. And see, all of these things, you ask yourself, why has none of these people been able to be brought to court for prosecution? The answer is, all of these guys have their protection under indemnity clauses in the Constitution. Because the first people who committed the coup d'etat in Ghana are from the UP tradition, which has morphed into the NPP. The PNDC, the AIF RP, um, RP then the... Um, the PNDC morphed into the NDC. And see, if you look at 93, from 92 to date, these two parties have been the ones ruling Ghana. And all the corrupt practices you've seen in Ghana has happened under these two parties. Meanwhile, the Nancy Clause is telling you that anybody who belongs to these two parties cannot be arraigned before any court in Ghana. Hmm. Would you be surprised, sir, no politician has been able to be prosecuted for any of the things that they've done, which we have hardcore evidence. And you see, I am telling every Ghanaian. Chachuchi Kata. Yes. Ah, or no, or uh, more than the cartoon because of uh, financial loss, financial loss yes. to the state. So that's one instance you can mention. But yeah. see, if we go into the, the merits of those cases, you see exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. And see, you, you have certain instances where they use something we call scapegoats. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, if you look at the other general's report, it has given ah, and yet country when we are, you say government um, accounts in GCB, mm -hmm. 52 billion Ghana cities went missing. Yeah. And before, we pay Yisika from bank. There's a long paper trail. Why has nobody been invited for prosecution or investigation? So I'm saying there could have been exceptional cases, one or two. But apart from those two cases you mentioned, no. Who else? And I'm saying, sir, all of these guys hand, hide under the, um, the transitional provisions, which mm. is the empty clauses, to do these things in Ghana. There's a story on uh, Onya Online, uh, in respect to Onya Okaya. Now, Enra, and he says that Ghana's constitution promote selective justice instead of rule of law right and i, I believe sir it's also in line with exactly yeah. exactly and on the other day he made it known to us to say why yet we are drafted a new constitution okay i don't know or they, or they <laughs> no, no, but that's that's the way to go but what has to happen is that we have to have a national discussion around it mm. like in your referendum it's a constitution and yes it's good he has done something but it's not just for him to decide what we want. Yeah. Send it out to the people, the people let us discuss it on a national level. It is my 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 main kind kakrana yenya a better understanding of the way I could say I do the key and the buy. I say right. uh, the founder and presidential candidate of United Front Party has added his voice to the call for the amendment of the nineteen ninety two constitution, saying several provisions of the document have outlived their usefulness. Mm. Uh, he urged the he argues the constitution gives too much power to the executive uh, which makes the president more powerful affecting checks and balances within the arms of government mr dk and then he didn't come that was i had to say no i say 
the constitution in its current state does not promote development as setting the state uh, is living in the past. Now, let me quote in Sema Okaye. Our constitution does not promote rule of law because it has, it has a selective uh, justice. Aisha Wan, for instance, was being uh, embodied by the executive uh, the reason we are suffering before getting her for prosecution. And see, these are some of the few instances that now Odike Emma Adeka the constitution. So it's not one of it me ako new online now Musumakwa could we did this very particular story. Right. 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 Um so the constitution is, is clear, sir. Yeah. You said the, the originator of the constitution himself before mm. he passed said several he said the constitution is not fit for purpose. Yeah. Mills tried to do something about it. We have a report on yeah, the sure, document sure. from I the review commission. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in fact, yes, she is still on the shelf. But you see, um, one of the interesting things about all of this, Nisir, if we cannot depend on the MPP and the NDC to change this constitution, because mm -hmm. as soon as they touch it, you know, they would go into, into oblivion. They would refuse to, to exist. Because mm -hmm. like I said, since 92, the only two parties that have been ruling Ghana is the MPP and the NDC. Mm -hmm. And all the people who have done coup in this country are from these two parties. And see, once we touch it, they will fail to exist. And that is why none of them can do anything. And see, if anything is going to be done about this constitution, we mm. need a completely neutral body, someone who doesn't have any interest in these two parties, in these two factions, mm. to be able to initiate that change. And that's where the youth of Ghana come into play here. And see, but I want to touch on one thing um, ODK said in this. Yes. Yes, yeah, so to wrap up, up here. Yeah. I say, um, the, the president has too, too much powers. As a more far on your line, as I found to so now, you are ready that lie. Yes. So say, constitution number I disagree with that um, instance to some I extent. See, yes. I see. Um, the reason is, uh, um, JB, someone him say Etuo mm -hmm. is a very deadly yeah, sure. weapon, right? Yeah. But uh, Ude Etuo, 12 year old, mm -hmm. is disastrous. Mm -hmm. But start a two now with the bullets, no. So what they a very well trained soldier, no. mm. it becomes a weapon for good. Yeah, sure. Right. And see, in in the wisdom of of governance, mm -hmm. right, the president has been given certain powers. So onya obia or your abusive or your tyrant mm. or your gangster kingpin, no. That power will be used for 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 evil, right? I but see. in the same way, so onya obia or your very benevolent or your mm. Progressive and a visionary, you know, who mm -hmm. say he's able to use those same powers to push his people to a certain greater height. I'll give you instances. Show China today mm -hmm. and then Russia. Almost say, Oman Kasa Aka said they don't want any elections in their country again. Almost say, president, Omun Disa Te Ombu. Why? Because Russia, Xi Jinping, and China as a whole, from 92 till date, from 1990 actually, from 1990 till 2024. On way ye nipa eight hundred million if you poverty mo if you hear mo eight hundred million people. Nipa say why would the people want to change their president? Mm. Because on one who say niama ko ye we are seeing progress. And you must say Xi Jinping on deep president sad this a webu. So called Russia, when the Russian the USSR Soviet Union was split in the nineties, same nineteen 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 ninety one there about no. Putin came later to take over Russia, and it's Russia progress are or the Russia. I caught through, you know. The Russians said they voted for him two times, two different terms. After mm. the second term, almost say, Nyama all you know, is too good. It's your own pair elections, class, you be another president. On to us, he dies. And see, Xi Jinping of China and um, Vladimir Putin of Russia have been made president for life. Now, they have executive power, which would be seen to be excessive. Yeah. But because Omo is visionary, Omo dream, and they are pushing their, their country forward, you know, the people themselves said, we don't want elections any longer. Rule to your dad. Mm -hmm. In fact, recently, you um, said, Paul Kagami yeah. of Rwanda. Rwanda. Same thing. I must say you should be president for life. Because today, I'm in Mokasa, no, there's a whole town, Kro Fufro, um, um, uh, Kagami has built and he has given to the people for free. And he said, Betria Rento. I say, may sit down a whole town with Siama, the citizen, say, Kotinem will free. And uh, any single room self container. You're looking at duplexes, two bedrooms, three bedroom units. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, and see, I don't agree with that part. Sir, um, you should, you should um, reduce the president's powers. So the two minutes, the two minutes, the man, but nobody should die here, no. And see, yes, I say, yeah, yeah, sir. I say, yeah, my criteria for anyone who qualifies to be president become excessively stringent. And see, rather than take the gun away and say it's a deadly weapon, no, make it very difficult for any other person who's not qualified to have the gun. Very well. Thank you.
Mini and Nina or Tinin Cano, I run. Yeah, uh, I think uh, your constitution or uh, in many discussions, be Maka uh, mm -hmm. a lot about it. And Maka say, I don't belong to a school of thought, uh, they are calling for a total overhaul of our constitution mm -hmm. because Maka just say a fourth republic way in the foundation of uh, your constitution. Once you jettison the constitution, it means mm -hmm. a democracy in our country, yeah, sure. But we need to do constitutional re engineering. There are several parts, like he pointed out, say. Uh, Outliving the usefulness mm. uh, going forward. And my the constitution should be a living document. I reflect it, uh, present circumstances. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, constitution be around the world, we are uh, evolved based on current happenings in a way. And to where near my dose is not constitution in Permetia. A bar bedroom will be as human needs, you know, as a son. Ah, a tilt for way as a son, yeah. other needs, air band of there. A lot of things coming on stream. On those days, you know, I yeah, write your constitution, not internet, and your friends say, AI, and then I say, for his idea, but they have all come on stream. So you mm -hmm. might want to update your constitution, mm -hmm. your constitution in such a way, say, but to me, I factor all these things. So I belong to that particular school of thought that says, uh, we need to review our constitution. Now you're updating the survey, you're saying, you're the near my best shame, a bit to me, I'm dealing with your current situation, your circumstances. And the ultimate priority of every constitution is say, you're to me, secure. Your friends say a certain economic dominance be a sabi nipo mu wo or my num no or mhumba tomo. That is the that is the whole way yeah 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 governance the yeah yeah you know the whole essence you know. But we me say I want say since I shall say be seen there yet me a yeah add that particular way no ah yeah pen no I'm again the yeah na consistently our people are suffering. You made mention of your friends are taxes and then answer for abba because state you know abba do we be a sicker ni ho. Hmm. And the state have come to a point that the only way to make generate is to say, yeah, put two more taxes, taxes on the poor people. Oh, state, you know, and create any other thing for them. The government is not looking at any other way, but rather taking taxes from the already impoverished people, you know, Sikano, Sikano, then people will steal the money. At the end of the day, there are no consequences for these people. Resources now, you know, are go waste. My culture said the most vulnerable of all resources are human resource. Yeah, you too, know, you have a lot. When it comes to this natural and mineral resources, we have a lot of them. Yet, you know, waste is on your way. You know, there was a time on TV discussion where people were advocating, say, oh, we know, as I say, yeah, yeah, to me, yeah, yeah, because the cow will never say, oh, my will good, oh, diamond, oh, silver, oh, way. That went to me and Tom for Jessica. We know, we be a yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes, as if they are done, they will put in. You will go diamond, silver, bauxite. You will go to the same place. You will go to the same place. We, and I say, we are in a, a large scale. But <laughs> we, we, if you, we, we share psychiatry, we are in a large scale. Oh, yes. You, some of these things, they have, the they implications are quite consequential. You see, oh. yeah, yeah, argument, uh, we do narrow argument. You go to the United States, somebody will tell you, oh, go to the US, uh, you legalize it, we, you know, for them. Go there and ask the American government how much they are spending in dealing with the other side of it. Mm -hmm. Go today, you wake up in America, somebody will just pick a gun, move to a school and shoot people. You think they are just doing it just like that? Yeah. I have implications of some of these things. Go to the prisons and stuff. So, you see, we don't do this narrow argument and say, say, yeah, we, we, because it is coming back. Other way, then how are we able to cash on those things? Now no yet yana ya fine we awo a we ya what for the say box yeah fine say the lithium 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 yeah kwa brani at na say atamadin the kwa mobi say omo my just a part of percentage and we are okay with it when other countries are discovering the same thing and they are making huge investment out of that ah omo be gaining as as a country and then I yet ya yeah yeah ya 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 ho abro from the one I be see the politics na yeah me say yeah be and your politics are money per day. And your politics are a fat or yeni at the bow high And your politics are a seeking to impoverish the poor the more. Because that is how we are. We are very wicked people. That's what I'm telling you, sir. Those days, you know, I'm not slave trade war or no. What is that? We need to be with them, sir, or find out what's going on. It is our own people, no, funny people, or what's going on, what's in China. Because we are wicked. You can't represent your own body, and that is here, no. And that is the kind of way we are maximizing on our political platforms, sir, sir. People who rise to political prominence think that they are better than everybody else. And for that matter, they have to be worshipped. That is why sometimes issue back. Now, President Kwao criticizes, and I must say, why I was going to my own more, but I didn't know. And they say, your politics, you're monetizing power belongs to the highest better. And then I know who will be a Nessica be a president. 
but the core values are yet they determine whether the person is a leader or not. Mm. Because if you're a leader, you don't even need to market yourself. But when you see a leader, you see a leader. Yeah. And you must come with certain qualities. You see certain fine lines of leadership in that particular person. His That's ideas, true. the kind of orientation, you know. But you're really so they don't know to the sense that it's about money. And the, and the, so oh, <laughs> <laughs> Obi, how could you see where the money is coming from? Nobody questions. <laughs> and then they come with the president. Then the president, now you're four hours there. And then we are just joking with this sensitive thing. Mm. And then I, yes, so. And I'm mindful, my own. Because we're here and say me. And we're trying to drive it on my own to a positive line. So I said, you're going to maximize your games. I give you hope to people. The Ghanaian dream, Ghanaian dream, now you can't yet have a year of to American dream. No? People made sacrifice for it. A man for more visionary people sat down and realized, say, we need to build America to a model. I said, be a destination for we are say, or be a talent when the movie will come to America. And it's the reason why you. This American road training as for mother by the last time I was telling you, mm. well, American road training at the buy because America has realized that the labor force in the air diminish yeah. because average age was somewhere around 41 to 51. Mm -hmm. They need labor force. So they introduced this particular policy to ensure that you energetic youth and a model on the back just to have one year one economy in Kosovo. And today that policy is being replicated in other countries. Canada is doing the same thing. Even the UK is doing the same thing with this nurses and nurses for them. And then I hear youth population are going waste. And then when they need jeans and more because as I didn't believe in the sea war, North Africa, yeah. Sebi, Tunisia, that Arab Spring, you know, it can start to yeah. find their fire by mm -hmm. because when you to consistently become desperate and they realize that there are no other options, the average and the ordinary politician you know, doesn't care about the winner. So the 200 Ghana and the 300 Ghana, and everywhere, you know, it means of what be a problem. Yeah. And Nepal will revolt against the system. And we don't want to get there. That is why we need to maximize the options of these young people. Mm -hmm. Now you're making sure, say, they'll have access to capital, they have access to something, what to do, ah, productive winners, we're more minus or two. Now, you're not saying every aspect of the monetizing of the year for women. And then, I'm going to come last time. I said, I see a Coco Divoa. Look at Adibia as a Sassi at the court tournament. The fact is that they know very well that this particular team cannot do anything there. I but see. because of money, people will get there, will follow and go. We've been going to tournament, we go and waste money and hmm. come back. This thing by people to sit down and say, say Blaster and any team, and the football team, and your friend, Cobo, you set up academy, you can build a team from the scratch. Now you're making sure that in the next five years, and you're my time, you build a national team. They will not do that because I'm sorry. I want to see Kamakwa Kudi baby, and we just pull ourselves like okay. this at the worst stage, and we are going nowhere. Uh, who are me? Who are me? Me? Yes, uh, yes. Oh yes, I mean, but what else? Me, my mama will just want me to wrap up. Yes, yeah, right twenty m. Jabi, me, me, because last year towards the end of the year, no, so, yeah. Um, me, Monday, I'm tired with the talk. Okay. And I said, anyone will be be a or Kasano and has been talking for a long time. No, so see, I know me done it for Anako also because Kasano does. So we need action. Oh, okay. And he said, "Debia, you can't, you can't say, oh, say, say, you say, you say, you say, and we are not willing to take on the responsibility to actually do the work. Mm -hmm. Then we have to keep quiet. Yeah, because I, I said, no, it's not Dawson. And he said, this year, to the youth of Ghana, everyone who is listening, talk not Dawson. This is a year for action. Casa not Dawson. This is a year for action. And he really said, oh, sure, we're sitting there, and you realize, sir, it is not going the way you want it. You see, the option is not to run away. Mm. Because, Anka, I'm more and more Canada and the US. Anka, I'm more joining the US and Canada core, baby, Anka. You won't get the chance to go to Canada and UK. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But they stayed in their country and built their country. Yeah. And see, let's stop doing the easy thing. Let us stay here and fix the country. And fixing the country, I'll not be looking for other people to do it. No. We've asked them several times, sir, or more here. They've shown us, sir, they cannot. They will not, mm. and they don't know how to fix it. Mm. What is left for us to do? All those so-called progressives who claim, say, we have alternative ideas and policies, and we can stand to make this thing better. It's about, it's about time, say, you're back together and make sure, say, we do the work to make Ghana work again. His Excellency, Nana de Dankwa Kufuado, in his inaugural address, Eka said, he sees exciting times ahead. Yeah, On that sad note, I say a word, better than Hey, best to see ya. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah. laughs>